A burning concern amongst these lawmakers was that most of those registered to benefit from the funds years ago have not received anything up to now. I humbly plead to the uh, veterans um, affair that uh, they have to relook at the programs, complete the identification of uh, the listed people, interview them, and due registration process should uh, follow for those who will be qualifying and starting giving them the deserved benefits. I am calling the Department of Veteran Affairs to consider the introduction of medical aid scheme for the veterans. Most are old and ailing hence they need proper medical care. Hibion Constituency Councillor Paul Isaac said all war veterans must benefit from the allocation irrespective of their political affiliation. Uh, equal opportunities for all of us in this country. I want that all of us must benefit. The people who qualify these schemes, these programs, all of us must benefit. Nowadays, people are focusing on party lines, party lines. Honorable Isaac, you have two minutes left. We must stop this tendency in the country. Let's just assist the people who are in need and who can qualify for these uh, crucial services. All of us are Namibian. It's all what we have. That some member of this August House are calling for recognition of form Kufuta and Swatu <laughs> to be recognized as veteran. But one, one, one would want to know as to why uh, they have to be recognized. If they have killed our people, delayed our independence, having destroyed our mango, mango field, and they rotted our property, and they raped our mothers. Is that to be recognized for? In my point of view, they only need to appreciate reconciliation and move forward. This request, however, was overwhelmingly rejected by Swapo MPs in the House, saying these members ought not to get the Veterans Affairs allocation and arguing that they prevented Namibia's independence. The outspoken Rundu Rural Constituency Councillor Paulus Mbangu demanded for an investigation into the alleged missing millions from the Veterans Affairs Department. It's also painful to learn that last year the Office of the Attorney General uncovered that 8.8 .8 million Namibian dollars was paid to 130 ghost veterans. And it's very painful. Yes, they... I still stand and support the Auditor General because he verified that and we cannot denounce it. By all means, it should be traced. Therefore, I'll ask the Public Account Committee, may perhaps to ensure that uh, this paragraph is taken into account so that we ensure that the 8 million, let it be recovered and added to the 871 million so that our veterans are attended. Other MPs complained that some potential beneficiaries have long been registered to receive veterans money, have received nothing up to now. They called for the process of registering as well veterans to be done in a fair manner and for the allocation to be increased. Uh, department should hear and try to implement the project of this uh, veterans uh, so that they can enjoy the freedom and truth that they fought for. It's because of them that we are who we are. Therefore, they are veterans, they, their project need to be, to be funded. The parliamentarians further demand that veteran affairs activities, including application, vetting and registration, be decentralized to regional councils.